I'm Jim Wheeler from Adrian's. Um, we've spoken before about wills and we're going to speak again about wills because uh, it's a very important but very uh, uh, much an ignored topic in many cases we find. Um, that might be because people are a little reluctant to co contemplate their own mortality but uh, it will happen and when it does you need to be prepared. You need to make sure that uh, those that are left behind can not only locate your assets but can deal with them and are the ones who uh, benefit from them as per your intentions and that won't happen if just left on its own. In the very worst case scenario you can find um, that uh, parties other than the intended beneficiaries might uh, receive assets or that even the, your family will be dealing with the public trustee which is not something uh, that, that they would look forward to at all. Um, the key question with that is really the understanding of your own structure. Do you understand your structure enough to give uh, uh, instructions to a solicitor as, as to your will? Uh, questions in that regard that you would, you would ask, uh, uh, do you have assets in a trust? If you do, they don't form part of your estate. Do you have assets in super? If you do, they don't form part of your estate. Do you have shares in a company? The shares form part of your estate, but the, the assets within the company, they don't. So the question becomes very much one, not so much who is going to get the money, but who is going to be in control of those entities. So the difference between control and ownership is quite crucial. And often it's the control factor which is equally important in determining how the um, final distributions take place. Um, so a, 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 a typical example of um, where, uh, where conflict can arise is in the relation to self-managed super funds. Now, it is the case that the, the trustee of a fund will control that fund. Um, the trustee is not necessarily bound by the wishes of the deceased person as to where, where that person's money might go. Um, quite often the binding death benefit nomination isn't complete or is expired or is faulty, subject to challenge. And um, believe me, it's one that the lawyers love. There's many cases, um, you know, being fought over those issues. And the sad part of that is that the cases are fought using the money in the super fund. So even if you win, you know, the victory can be very hollow. They're very important to uh, think carefully through those questions of control, who will control the entities and uh, what documentation or, or structured uh, planning will be necessary to ensure that your wishes are followed. Um, but look, the good news with all this is not that hard. Um, the first step would be to come and talk to us. Um, we meet regularly with most clients, uh, once a year, more than that quite often. We do spend time talking about how, where assets are placed in entities, how income flows through as part of the sort of tax planning discussions. But there's deeper issues that can come out of that uh, and those issues include the estate planning side of things. So uh, in those discussions it's a good idea to um, you know, introduce that element, make sure that uh, if we're doing so that that can be part of a lead up which might, might cause you to actually take that big step, um, go and see your solicitor and at least if not draft a will, uh, review the one you do have and make sure it's still right. So. We're always uh, very pleased to talk to you about these things. Uh, so uh, with that, I'll, I'll just sign off. Thank you.